guys, so one question that I've been getting a lot is how is it daily driving a stage 4 5.3 with no stall? So I'm actually about to be heading to work and neighbors probably don't like me because about 10, about 9, 10 o'clock at night. But True dual X pipe, two carbon arm mufflers, five inch tips. I think she's warmed up enough. We'll go ahead and take off. But really, not that bad. The only thing that I've had an issue with while driving is coming to, the, to a stop I'll have to press on the brake a little bit harder than what you normally would driving a non-cam truck or whenever it was stocked or I'm gonna take a while, I guess, to say if I had a torque converter. So coming from a dig or anything like that, I have a pretty much I have a pretty much dead zone till for about 3,300. So this truck is hardly anything to dig right now. I plan on getting a torque converter. I plan on going with a third, with either a 3200 or a 3600 circle D torque converter with a triple disc. But at the moment, I just can't really fit it into my budget. So I haven't went that route yet. plan with 
wants to know how it is driving a stage four truck cam factory stall it is literally not that bad at all Southeast Texas with Death Row Performance. He did an amazing job on this tune. He did an amazing job overall with all the work. He's the one that did the install. I got with him about getting everything done and because uh, I had a hefty lifter tap before. And at that point, I was like, okay, lifter got stuck once or twice. hasn't really been like it wasn't running right so I got all this hooked up and everything else and she is running top a1 tip top shape I mean another red light barely let up on the brake and she's just trying to nudge through the brake she's trying to just power through it Somebody's go for more of a performance style cam and they don't really haul much or anything like that. I would definitely say go with the stage four. Yes, it is recommended that you get a 3000 plus stall. You don't need it. You'll just, whenever they go to start tuning and everything, you're going to have a dead zone of 3000 and in order for you to get your low end power back you will need to put a stall on it which that's the struggles that I'm going through right now like last Friday when went out to our local drag strip we had Friday night call outs and just a bunch of street right instead of racing out on the street we all went to the track and uh Everybody's doing digs and digs and digs. My truck sucks at a dig. I can't get a dig. So I'm, I was having struggling to try to find a run on a 25 roll because that is what this truck absolutely loves. It loves the 25 roll. 25 roll, I'm around 32 to 3500 RPM. And it, it, it just eats. Ran a 5.7, 8 speed newer model and absolutely demolished if you actually look on my youtube it's a short video but you can see on there he actually took a small jump before i even got into it and i literally just walked past him like he was just standing still so it's just I don't I don't see I was I was very afraid of it too going from going with such a big cam and that's whenever I started talking to my tuner and being like hey man uh, what all problems would I would I run into you know because and 
he was literally just like, look, this is the route you want to go. Don't worry about it. It's going to, it's going to drive fine. You're just literally going to not have power from a dig. And I'm like, okay, which that's not saying that, okay, it won't get moving or anything, but it will, it will get moving. But if you're trying to just like launch hard and just leave off the line, it's, it's not going to do it. It's going to wait till it hits that 20 mile an hour mark. And then whenever it finally gets into that power band, it, that's whenever it's going to hit. And that's one thing I've noticed. So if you do want to do a dig, they pretty much got to let you get the hit. And not a lot of people like doing that because they're like, Oh, well you, that's what you need. You got this stage four, blah, blah, blah. And you need a hit. And it's like, yeah, I don't have a fucking torque converter. You're getting instant power. I'm not. So, but overall it's, it's very easy. I would highly recommend it. I don't see any issues with it. So if y'all were ever curious about it, I mean, here's a video for you because this is my first cam truck. I've, I have cam small block 350s, 305s, all carbureted, but that's completely different than your fuel injected 5.3s. I, I wanted to go with a bigger cam and he was like, you don't. You're, going, you're not going to really benefit from it. And he's like, being naturally aspirated, no power adder, you'll, you're going to be perfectly fine with this one. You're going to be happy. I was spec, I was skeptic on it, and I was like, you know, I'm probably going to want a bigger one. You know, eventually I might, after Holly high ram intake, fuel injectors, fuel pump, uh bigger throttle body just extra bolt-on stuff i probably will want a bigger cam but i think for right now i'll be perfectly happy with this one because it is literally it's been the absolute most fun i've had in a long time with this truck and i've had a lot of fun but i think this is definitely on a new beginnings but anyway Sorry I don't post a lot of long videos, but here it is. This is my very first long video, and I hope y'all enjoy. You know, like and subscribe. I do a lot of shorts. I do a lot of posting at TikTok, Instagram. Y'all go check out my Instagram. It's same thing as same thing as my uh, YouTube name. TikTok and Instagram both. They're they're the exact same. So uh I'll catch y'all next time.